Well, hello people, how are you? Haven't been on for a while. Well, as you know, lots of things have been happening in the world, but I'm not going to talk about those things because they're on the news 24-7 anyway. It's funny how the pandemic is not mentioned anymore, when that was on 24-7 before. No, I'm going to talk about something completely different. Genetics. Well, kind of. More like traits. Do people have different traits who come from certain countries? Well, maybe not so much anymore, as they're trying to make it all multicultural, aren't they? But many years ago, we all knew the differences. People from different countries did have different traits, and a lot of them still do. Some are bad traits and some are good. But it did make them individuals, if you know what I mean. Say, for instance, what comes to your mind when you think of an Italian? Oh, I know you can't say it nowadays, of course. But whether we like it or not, genes and genetics make us who we are. I personally have my father's traits. I didn't learn them. They were just there. And those traits will probably be passed on to my children, too. Even if you didn't know your parents, you still have their traits. But nowadays, we're not supposed to think that way at all, are we? That a person from a certain country usually has certain traits of that country. That's a no-no now, isn't it? But that's funny, because we do it with dogs, don't we? We get a dog that has a specific trait. Say, for instance, a Labrador, who's usually good with children. A good family dog. Maybe not the brightest, but intelligent enough. And then you get a Rottweiler, who's very territorial as a protect instinct. That's why they use them for guard dogs. And we don't think anything twice about dogs and their traits. In fact, they breed certain dogs together to get a dog with certain traits. So when you see people in a different country who look different than you do, and they all look different, that's just their traits, right? Because they look different because of genetics. I'm not saying that we should breed certain people to get certain children. That's already been tried, hasn't it? But I do believe that certain people who are going to have a baby should be able to pass a few tests first. So what comes to mind in your mind when you think of a Japanese person? And of course, if you say something about it, you're racist now, aren't you? But that's their heritage. It makes them who they are. It makes them unique. And no matter what they say, I will continue to think of people in these countries, generally, that those people are that certain way. Which means that we all are different. Which is diversity. I'm not sure where I was going with that one, but it's done now. But here's another myth. Febons can do multitasking really good. Well, that's a bunch of horse crap. Oh, a Femon can have four or five things on the go at once, yes. But she will never finish any of them. Well, maybe one. A male can have four things going at one time too. But he will prioritize the tasks. From the important to the less important. And he'll get the first important one done first. And work his way through. Until they're all complete. And if you don't believe me about Femons can't multitask very well, give her three or four things to do and see how she gets on. Yet another myth bites the dust. In general, men will do one task at one time and not get three or four going at once. Femons get three or four going at once is because they lose concentration, their focus. And of course, they also love chaos. Anyway, here's a story for you. I'll put a link down below. This Femon, who is 28 years old, has fallen in love for the first time with a model aeroplane that cost her, I believe, £600. And apparently she has it in her bed with her all night. I wonder what she does with it. It's very big. I don't know, maybe she should try having a normal relationship, say with a man. Of course, she may be disappointed in the man's size. And apparently she works for an airline as well. But by the sounds of this story, she should have been a space cadet. But it does clearly show the true nature of a femon. Stay awake and aware, guys. Stay away. Be safe. And be you. Take it easy.